Hey, uh, how you guys doing? So, this whole tier list thing on the internet's kind of becoming a, a big deal. Everyone seems to be doing one. So I'm just going to do that, but I'm going to do it with Valve games because I, I have made previous videos about Valve games on this YouTube thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do what everyone else is doing. So, first one, Portal. Portal is S tier. I shouldn't even have to explain that. I think everybody agrees with me. Portal is S tier, and if you think it's anything lower, then you're fucking wrong. Um, Portal 2. Portal 2, alright. Like, some people like Portal 2 more. And I get that. But Portal 2 isn't as good as Portal 1. It's not as tight. There are things that are better about Portal 2 than, than Portal 1. But I'm thinking Portal 2 is going to be A tier. Alright. Just saying. Alright, so now I just we're going to get into the Half-Life games. So, uh, Half-Life 1. I'm torn between A and S tier for this one. Because I do prefer... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to say S tier. Half-Life 1 it was just absolutely revolutionary for its time. Um, really, the only problem, the only reason why I would even consider putting Half-Life 1 any lower than S tier is because of Zen. Um, but, let's be honest, Zen's not that bad. compared. Like, it, I mean, it's not good, don't get me wrong. But it's not, like, the worst thing ever. I'd rather play Zen than, like, I don't know, Ricochet, which... Uh, what the hell? That's gonna be in, like, D tier, right? Is there even anything lower than D tier? Or is this just, like, a... This is just... This just goes to D tier. Alright. That's fine. So, yeah. I mean... Opposing Force. Hmm. I think I had it in A tier before... But I'm going to be honest, it doesn't hold up as well. I played it recently, and there's some really dumb stuff in that game. <laughs> there's that one part in Foxtrot Uniform, the, like the surface tension chapter. I think that, I think it's called Foxtrot Uniform. Where there's like all those big like horse monster things, and they're just chasing you around this dark area, and they kill you instantly. And that's fucking ridiculous. So I'm thinking Opposing Force is B tier. I love the music in Opposing Force. I love, you know, some of the skyboxes and I guess the general idea of it. But let's be honest, it, it's it got some serious problems with it. Uh, Blue Shift is going to be C tier. Not as good as Opposing Force. It's not bad, but I have no reason to replay it because it... It's just kind of eh. It's a little bit bland. Um, so, now here's where it's going to be a bit controversial. Um, I know most people would probably put Half-Life 2 in S tier. But I'm going to put it in A tier. Because Half-Life 2 has some stuff that makes me not really want to replay it as much as Half-Life 1. You know, you got that whole part in the middle the, uh, what's it called? The Black Mesa East thing that everyone has already played a million times and it's just, there's no reason for it to even, it's just boring. I don't want to, I don't want to listen to the characters say the same shit over again. I've already heard it like 400 times. So, yeah, Half-Life 2, it's still really good, um, but I think it, it isn't as great as people Make it out to be. And that's coming from me. So, yeah. Uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. Or is Episode 2? They all kind of feel around the same quality. I know some people say that Episode 2 is, like, better and Episode 1's worse. And I do agree with that, but not by, like, a lot. They're general, Like, not enough to for this to be an S tier and this to be in B tier. Uh, so, yeah, I th I'd say they're all around there. Uh, TF2. I'm not a big fan of the multiplayer stuff, if I'm being honest. But, if there's one multiplayer game on here that I'd want to play, it's going to be TF2. 
So I'm gonna put TF2 in B tier. Um, that's another one I think a lot of people are not gonna agree with, but you know, you're wrong. So, all right, I guess now we're gonna do Counter Strike. Uh, CS 1.6 is actually pretty fun. Um, I'm torn between C and B tier. I'm gonna put it in B tier for now. Might change that later. Um, and you got CSGO. CSGO is not as good. It's not as good. They removed all the mod ability from this game. It's just competitive over and over and over again. That's boring. This goes in C tier. M uh, no, not D tier. It's not as bad as Ricochet. Let's be honest. I'd rather play CSGO than fucking Ricochet. But when you take away all the creative parts of it, it's just boring. You know, they have those videos where people are talking about how they want the soundscapes turned down. Like, what the fuck? You, you, you need your soundscapes turned down? Are you serious? This is a f fucking video game. Like, calm down. You can, it, there can be art elements to your game and it not distract you from the fucking endless cycle of gameplay. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, three wave? That's not even like an official game. That's like a that's like a VNN thing, isn't it? Um D tier. Yeah, and this was made by VNN too. Makes sense. Um Lost Coast. I don't even remember most of Lost Coast. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll just put it middle of the road. Um Half Life Source D tier. That Half Life Source fucking sucks. Um, Left 4 Dead 2. And Left 4 Dead 1. I guess I probably just do Left 4 Dead 1 first. Um, now you see, the thing is, right? Left 4 Dead 2, I, I play more. Because Left 4 Dead 2 has the, like, you know, mods and stuff. But. Turtle Rock really got fucked over with Left 4 Dead 2. So it's like, do I rate this as a game? Or do I rate this as how I feel it should be? I'm going to say that they're the same. Uh, the uh, C or B tier. Hmm. I'm going to say C tier. I think that's fair. Day of Defeat. This is the gold gold source one, right? Yeah, gold source. Gold source goes there. Source isn't as good. I don't really care much for the source source version. Uh, what is this? Half Life Decay. Um, Decay is all right, I guess. Eh, C tier. Um, Artifact. Yeah, Artifact fucking sucks. Deathmatch Classic. Literally, have never. Uh, well, I mean, I have played it, but. I don't give enough of a shit to even remember anything about it besides it's like quick but gold source d tier um team fortress classic team fortress classic is just tf2 without the personality d tier uh alien swarm alien swarm also is pretty friggin boring i'm gonna say that's d tier as well counter strike source I'll put that up there with 1.6 it's definitely not as good as 1.6 don't get me wrong right but like it's pretty solid, you know, it, it at least has mods, unlike this fucking abomination. Uh, it, you know, it, it has its things, you know, you can put skins in there, it has some fun maps. It's pretty much just a port of this one, but that's fine. Uh, Condition Zero. Alright, so this is the thing, right? Are we talking about Condition Zero deleted scenes, or are we talking about Condition Zero just in general because if it's condition zero like the actual condition zero it's fucking detail because condition zero sucks but we're talking about deleted scenes i'd say that belongs up at b tier because condition zero deleted scenes is fucking great and if you haven't played it you need to get on that because it's fucking just awesome so i'm gonna say this is deleted scenes i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt even though it doesn't see deleted scenes i'm gonna put that up in b tier um, Dota 2 fucking sucks, uh, and the lab is not even a, a game, so I don't know why it's even in here, but D tier, because it's not a game. Uh, so there you go, that's my Valve tier list, and if you don't th agree, then you are objectively wrong, because 
You you don't know anything about Valve, and I'm just better than you. So, yeah, have a nice Groundhog Day.